Did you know that many of the plants, animals, and insects you see each day are not native to America? We call them weeds, invaders, or specifically invasive species. Nearly 1,000 plants and animals now in Ohio were not here when just Native Americans lived here. They were brought by European settlers, sometimes on purpose, like the European starling introduced in the 1890s, and sometimes by accident like the zebra mussel brought into the Great Lakes by ships from Europe in the 1980s. Many of the common plants around us are invasive. Garlic mustard, honeysuckle, knotweed, barberry, loose strife. Their names are great, but their impact on ecosystems, not so great. Many invasive species take over native habitats and squeeze out local plants and animals. They do that because they often don't have natural predators to control populations. One way to slow the spread of invasive species is to only plant native species when you do gardening and landscaping. Many invasives started off as decorative plants but escaped into the wild and wreaked havoc in the environment. Invasive insects have caused the near extinction of several native trees, including the American chestnut, American elm, and ash trees. New invaders are threatening our beautiful beech and hemlock trees. Invasives are arriving all the time. The Asian spotted lanternfly is the latest. It's now invading Ohio where it's threatening grapevines and fruit trees. It's important to learn which plants and animals around you are native and which are invasive so that you can help native plants and animals survive in their struggles with aggressive newcomers.